Okay, so uh, this is a video with a few tips on how to play, how to practice scherzo number four in uh, Suzuki book three. Uh, this is probably the first instance in all of the Suzuki series where you're playing quite fast. Um, the presto marking, which is a, a, a tempo marking, is definitely the fastest we've seen so far. So this is a really good introduction on how to play fast. Uh, which requires a lot of coordination between the left and right hand. They both have to work together in exactly the right way, otherwise things start to derail. Yeah. So the question is how do we practice this? And I think the best way whenever you're playing fast things is not only to practice slowly at first, but to also practice your left and right hand separate. So that would be my first suggestion. Okay. Um, for left hand, I think by this point, you've done a lot of the things that uh, they're asking for. So the question is the bow. Yeah, when you're playing these fast, fast, uh, fast, very fast notes, um, how do you do that? And I think the best way to do it is always with a metronome, because you just have to have supreme control whenever you're playing fast. Yeah, you never want it to seem out of control. Um, so always practice with a, with a metronome first. I think 60 is probably a good starting point. So these are your quarter notes. So you need to fit four sixteenth notes in each of these quarter notes. A good thing to always do is, can you, to check, can you count out loud the rhythm? Because if you can't count it out loud, oftentimes you're not going to be able to play it. Um, and eventually you should be able to both count out loud and play at the same time. That's a really good test on um, on whether your your rhythm, your internal rhythm, is really good. But for now, let's just keep it simple. Let's see if you could count it and then play it. Yeah. So you could either do one e and a, two e and a, one e and a, two e and a. You could do that. Um, that's the traditional way to count. Or you could do one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four. Either one is fine. I would recommend learning one yen, a two yen, a one yen, a two yen. It's just easier, um, and especially if you have to count faster. One yen, a two yen, a one yen, a two yen, a one yen, a two yen. It gets harder. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. It, your, your mouth gets stuck. So that was that sort of counting method was invented so that you can count quite fast um, without stumbling. Yep. So do that first because you really want to be sure that you can actually divide a quarter note into four even parts. The one and the two always falling with the click. Okay, so let's say you've done that. Now, with the bow. Generally, I'm going to be playing in the middle or the point of balance whenever I'm playing fast. I, I, unless I'm doing a, unless I'm doing like a tremolo, which is a very fast a special effect sound, I'm not really going to be doing this at the tip and I'm not going to be doing this at the proper It's very hard because the entire weight of the bow is in your hand and really your pinky is in charge of keeping the tip up if you're playing at the proc. So it's just for many reasons not a very good place to play fast, light pieces at the proc. Really point of balance or the middle. Okay, so when you're doing this, Open strings. Just probably pick a D string. Pick the D string just because it's a nice level string. So accent the strong beat. So one, two, one. Accent with your hand, not with your arm, not tense. Just a quick. That's going to help you organize your hand into thinking in terms of groups. Yeah, you don't want to play one, two, three, four, four, four. You don't want to play every single note evenly. It's the strong beats that you want to to play uh, with an emphasis on. So one, two, one, two, 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 two. Try to keep your bow straight. Yeah, and try not scrubbing. Contact point shouldn't change too much. One, two, string any
any combination you want. You could do that eighth notes, but do the metronome, and the rhythm is number one. Okay, if you're if you're uh, every fifth note is not really exactly with the click, then you're not doing it the right way because we're looking for absolute control in the hand. That doesn't mean you need to get tight tight like this when you're playing. Just relax and really think about the rhythm, okay? So that's how I would practice. Speed it up, maybe go in increments of five or 10. So like you could do 60 and then you can go to 70. So this with a metronome at 60, I still want to think of this as my quarter note pulse. So, right, because each note is an eighth note, so I should fit two eighth notes per click. So, two eighth notes or I like to do quarter notes so so now what you're doing is you're actually practicing the left hand without worrying about this stroke this stroke that you're just learning you'll put it together later but for now when you first learn a piece, a fast piece, break it apart. Always break it apart. Don't try going into a head first and just trying everything at once because oftentimes it's not going to be really coordinated. Yeah, so now when you're doing this, do the same thing. 60, 70, 80, 90. Don't go any faster than you can do it really cleanly and really rhythmically perfectly. Yeah. So. So if I were to do measure 10, for example, I want my shifts to fit exactly into the eighth notes that I'm thinking in my head. I don't want... I don't want it to be out of control, out of rhythm. I want the shifts to be timed exactly when they need to be. So that first shift has to land exactly with the second quarter note. Pulse, right? So time that perfectly because that timing of the left hand is going to be crucial when you. If it's not exactly together, you'll get some of this derailment. You hear, you'll hear these slides that you don't want to hear in a fast. 
last piece like this. You want to... Okay. So those are my two uh, main tips for this piece. The middle section, of course, the menomoso. Very different character. Um, but this fast section, have patience. Practice with discipline. Don't ever just... Don't just do that because it might seem cool at the, at the moment, but I guarantee you sometime uh, within the first five or six measures, your, your arm is gonna get tired and things are gonna start to derail and inside you'll panic. And when you panic, things will start to get even worse. So I want you to be very disciplined and careful when you're practicing step by step by step. Don't speed it up unless it's in perfect control. Yeah, and always break it apart. Just because you did it once, doesn't mean you don't have to do it again. Every day, break it apart, just. Yeah, and then you can even. Uh, I'm playing exactly what strings I would play without the left hand. Yeah. Stuff like that will really help. And then when you play it together, things will be really uh, better coordinated. Okay, so try those, those two tips out. Have your metronome with you. Your metronome is your best friend, okay? Have your metronome with you and work through it carefully. Okay, good luck.